All right, so we're in here today. We're gonna to be working on this thing. Um, this motor, I think, runs, but I don't really, I don't know. I'm not a fan of these distributor motors. I find them kind of finicky. Uh, I think they're a better motor overall. I think they have a better cooling system. I think they have a better water pump system. I think they have a lot of better things than the new bodies, but I hate the distributors on them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hood off, we're gonna pull the wipers, we're gonna pull all the stuff underneath here that is unneeded and get rid of it. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get all these bolts out of there and get the hood onto the roof and uh, start getting this thing ready to be stripped apart. So, a little history on this car. I uh, bought this thing down in Brampton and is it Brampton or Mississauga? It was one or the other. It's going to come in. And uh, when I bought it, I instantly knew how clean this car was. And uh, I didn't really want to derby it because there was no shows that were really stealing my interest at the time. So what happened was is I just parked it. And then my neighbor came up to me and he was driving a, a Topaz. For somebody to be driving a Topaz these days is kind of really rare. And he told me that it was rotten away and he needed a car. So I gave him this. And... Uh, he put some love and care into this thing and uh, bought a lot of new parts for it. So basically, I didn't even charge him. I just kind of gave him the car and said, uh, I'll give you the car. I want to derby it so you can't sell it. You can put it in your name. You can insure it. You can drive it. But I get it back. And because that right there, I find if you just let the vehicle sit in your backyard for 15 years, I find they get a little rotty. So... I said, by you driving it, you're actually helping me. You're keeping me on, you're keeping the car on the road so that way it kind of lasts longer. So he drove it, and then I get a call one day from him. It was about a year after he took it. Uh, his wife went to Walmart in my town, and they were leaving Walmart, and just out of nowhere, the car died. So I went to him, I picked it up, I towed it home. He spent about two weeks trying to get it going, throwing parts at it, which kind of good for me, but not for him, and then he decided that it wasn't worth the effort anymore. He said that it uh, just wouldn't stay going for him. So he gave it back to me, and he took a Buick I had here. So this car's been parked for like two and a half, maybe three years now in my backyard. And he drove it for about a year. So I probably probably own this thing for about, about three, maybe four years, I think. Which is a long time to own a car waiting for it to get into the derby ring. So kind of kind of excited. But uh, I kind of let down too. One, tires shouldn't break down, and this thing broke down. So uh, I don't know what that is. Two, this will be the first time I haven't taken a Avalon to mini meltdown. I know that guys doesn't sound like a big deal to you, but it's a kind of a big deal to me. So here's my goal to get all this unwanted crap out of here. And we are going to try to run this car. Um, it did not run before. They thought it was timing. I know it wasn't timing. Uh, they thought it was distributor, so they put a new distributor on. I thought it was distributor, but it turned out that it still wouldn't fire on the... Oh my goodness, just get out of there. It still wouldn't fire on the... New distributor, new spark arrestor, all this fun stuff. I put a new computer into it, still no fire. Um, when I did put a standalone harness into it, I think I did have it fire. But honestly, guys, that was so long ago that I don't even know. I'm just going to loop these transmission lines. Because you guys know what happens every time I start a car and forget to actually hook the loop lines back in. So I just want to clean up this engine bay. What I would like is all the AC lines off, the breather box out. Um... All the wiring that we don't need, I want out, just so that I, it's eliminated from the reason why it will not run. So we still got a little bit of stuff to take out of here. 
Nice chisel. Relay. Random shit. Random shit. You guys know the drill. Let's just tear this thing down to absolutely its bare bones here. 